And the Oscar for best no makeup makeup goes to. Wild stars Reese Witherspoon as the real life Cheryl Strayed, a woman whose destructive behavior has left her life in shambles. After the death of her mom, she dropped everything and with no experience, hiked over 1,000 miles of the Pacific Coast Trail alone in an attempt to find meaning, strength, and hopefully healing. And I mean metaphorical healing as well as literally healing too. I mean seriously, yanking off that toenail can cause some real infections. And if that was a little bit too much information for you, well, wild may just be a bit too wild for your taste. Because this movie is fearless in laying out the pain and process of this incredible journey. Strait had some demons to deal with, and they're on display here completely. I think it's to the movie's credit, and I think it doesn't pull any of the ugliness out. We see clearly this woman's mistakes and the consequences of her choices, just as clearly as we see the pain of trying to hike 1,000 miles with no experience. And it makes for a truly compelling look at how this woman is. Witherspoon is also incredible in her makedown performance, being beaten down by both the path of her past and the path that she walks along the trail. Speaking of which, the other true star of this movie is the Pacific Coast Trail itself, a trail that stretches from Mexico to Canada and has some of the most beautiful scenery I've seen on screen in a long time. It makes for a brutal and beautiful juxtaposition to this woman's life and is stunning in its presentation and scope. The whole experience ends up feeling like an incredible walking tour of the western landscape with a true life story along for the ride. The only issue is that I'm not sure where the road ends. Now, that's not an awful thing. Many movies are left ambiguous to great effect, but here it feels more accidental than intentional, or at the very least, unavoidable. Maybe it's that Strayed story is all about the journey and not the destination, but if we're going to invest in a character based on the metaphorical and literal struggle, it'd be nice to see what the result is. The movie spectacularly portrays the brutality of the journey, but never seems to clearly state what our lead is discovering, or better yet, how that changes her. I think we're left to fill in those blanks ourselves, which I'm fine with doing, but I would have loved to see some of that on the screen. At the end of the day, Wild is a beautiful and audacious telling of one woman's life story through hiking the difficult terrain of the Pacific Coast Trail. Reese Witherspoon gives an amazing performance, and even if the evolution of the character falls a bit short, the overall experience is still breathtaking enough to reach its summit at an A-. Thanks for checking out this Your Movie Friend review. Stay tuned for this review's best ever challenge here in a bit. First, I want to throw some stuff up over here that you can click on. If you'd like to subscribe, which I'd very much appreciate, you can do that by clicking the big gray subscribe button. And if you want to see more, well, I'll throw some links to other recent reviews over here as well. You can also click the logo up here to go to yourmoviefriend.com where you can find a searchable database of reviews as well as the written text of these videos. And finally, this review's best ever challenge. This is where you name the best movie ever in a particular category and then also try to identify my choice. What is the best hiking movie ever? Mine is the one whose title is about five and a half days long. Drop your own answer and a guess at mine in the comments, and the first person to guess mine does get a point. Thanks, and please subscribe.